Hello everyone, I'm Carlos. Today I want to talk about colors. Colors can give people different feelings. Warm colors like yellow and orange might present viewers a romantic or happy tone. On the other side, cold colors like blue and purple can let the audience experience sadness or loneliness. Yes, this is the power of colors. One of the most significant color technologies in film history is Technicolor, which truly introduced color to filmmakers and helped them to share their creativity and imagination through their productions. Let's go back and revisit the development of Technicolor in film history and the way how Technicolor shaped the movie industry and the audience expectation. Technicolor is the history of Technicolor, is the history of color, I guess, for motion pictures. Technicolor was an innovation for the movie industry because it redefined the idea of using color in film and helped filmmakers explore different filmmaking and storytelling techniques. Technicolor motion picture process using dye transfer technique to produce a color print. And the street color system of Technicolor was decided by J.A. Ball in 1932. Street color system means transferring multiple color records one by one onto one branch piece of film. The biggest benefit of using this technique is to create a more beautiful and colorful motion picture than any other technique at that time. We build colors as we go at the very last minute, which is the only way you can really get true color. We also have the ability to control the contrast, which is so important in photography. It can transfer color to the screen effectively which help filmmakers create different cinematic experience for the audience. However, using Technicolor requires a large number of resources and money. When shooting in Technicolor, you weren't just getting the camera. You rented from Technicolor an entire package, which included the camera, a camera crew with three assistants, the film, the processing, and a Technicolor color consultant. Although major Hollywood studio might realize Technicolor could be artistic too, they still didn't want to spend much money in this new technology. There was one company willing to take this risk and use Technicolor to derail their production, which became really successful. This company is Walt Disney. Flowers and Trees in 1932 and the Three Little Pigs in 1933 were a huge success at that time, which won Oscar for Bad Animated Shot. The whole industry was shot by Disney production because the color in this animation are rich and beautiful. Thus, other Hollywood major got more attention of using color in film. They see the potential of receiving high box office or for using Technicolor in live action movies. One successful Technicolor feature is The Adventure of Robin Hood in 1938, which showed the power of Technicolor and won three Academy Awards for its aesthetic use of color. <laughs> During the golden age of cinema, Hollywood studio have full creative control and they use Technicolor to create outstanding films such as The Region of Oz and The Gone with the Wind. I could while away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. These movies showed the studio and filmmaker understanding the importance of using color in films and start trying different methods to achieve different ideas. As a result, Technicolor provides opportunity for the film industry and help filmmakers deriving their resourcefulness in a colorful way. If you only had a brain. Not only the film community like colorful image, but the audience also enjoyed watching Technicolor motion picture at that time. When colors was presented to the audience, everyone was interested in this colorful moving image. For instance, in the early days of cinema, even the filmmaker like George Meunier hand-tinting their own films it still surprised the audience in the way of the beautiful color combination. Disney believed that color should follow the established conventional standards of harmony, contrast, and cultural conservation, and color should be narrative to add to the story without distracting the audience. The people loved the cartoon. That was the thing they really applauded not the black and white feature. So that made a big impression, three color, for the first time. 
Clearly, Technicolor make audience want more information and story from filmmakers. Actually, the audience is like children. Discover the colorful new world that present in front of their eye. This is one of the reasons why they like Technicolor. Also, Technicolor motion pictures with beautiful actresses and actors are more likely to get high spot offers than any other films. After 30 years of great contribution to the film industry, Technicolor was mostly replaced by Eastman Color in the 50s. One of the reasons is that Eastman Color is not only produce high quality colors, but also gives studios full controllability for the colors. The studio do not need to send the film back to the Technicolor for the expensive dye transfer process. In conclusion, Technicolor was a technological innovation for film industry in the way of its great achievement in film, deriving filmmaker creativity and shaping audience expectations.